Oh my goodness. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Sebastian Fundora, the towering inferno, upset Australian star boxer, superstar boxer in Australia, star boxer here in the States, son of a legend, Costa Zoo, Tim Zoo, Sebastian Fundora. He fills in for Keith Thurman on 12-day notice. Now, keep in mind, Sebastian Fundora, he was already on the undercard. Sebastian Fundora was already on the undercard, right? Sebastian Fundora was scheduled to fight for the vacant WBC title. Sebastian Fundora got elevated to the main event when he he got elevated to the main event when Keith Thurman tore his bicep. Keith Thurman got removed. He was already on his card. Sebastian Fundora coming off of a brutal knockout loss. The triangle theory don't work in this fight prediction. The triangle theory don't work. Now, we know Sebastian Fundora got brutally knocked out by Brian Mendoza. Brian Mendoza then gets an opportunity, shoots across the pond, goes to the down under, goes to Australia, gets an opportunity to fight for the WBO title. Against who? You got it, Tim Zhu. An opportunity to fight against Tim Zhu, right? So he goes over, fights Tim Zhu, and gets battered. Tim Zhu put the paws on. Bang, bang, bang. Very vanilla, but he put the paws on. Right? And now Sebastian Fundora is getting an opportunity to rectify his knockout loss to Brian Mendoza by beating up on the man that beat Brian Mendoza in Tim Zoo. Now, something here to note. When Sebastian Fundora was brutally knocked out by Brian Mendoza, that was April of 2023, he was winning the entire card, the first six rounds, and the first half of the seventh round. And then Mendoza caught him. Yeah! Put him to sleep. He was standing straight up, frozen. And Mendoza came back and put him to sleep. Put him to sleep, right? And so Sebastian Fundora was getting ready to get an opportunity to be the world champion. Now he's going to go in there with Tim Zhu. He is, in no disrespect, but he is the sideshow. He's six foot six with an 80 inch arm reach at 26 years of age. And he's fighting at 150 pounds, 54 pounds, 20 wins, one loss, one draw, 13 wins by way of knockout. Right now, Tim Zhu is a shorter guy. He's 24 wins, no loss, no draw, 17 wins by way of knockout, but he's five foot eight with a 70 inch arm reach. Now, Brian Mendoza is similar. He's 5'10 with a 70-inch arm reach. So he's taller, two inches taller than Tim Zhu. Sebastian Fundora don't fight his height, right? He punches down. He he he's, he gets to the level of his opponent. He's been dropped multiple times. He was dropped by Erickson the Hammer Lubin. Huck out. He was hurt badly, but he was well aware. And so what did he do? He took a knee and allowed himself to recover. Then he got up and then battered Erickson Lubin and won the fight. So, with that said, in this fight, my fight prediction, Tim Zhu is very vanilla, right? He has power. He's consistent. He doesn't have, how Floyd Mayweather say it, any flash of flair, straight up and down. He's just consistent. He's vanilla, but he's consistent, right? And so, with that said, Tim Zhu, in this fight, on 12-day notice, is going to find himself preparing for what he did 12 days ago. Found himself preparing for a completely different animal. First to fight Keith Thurman, who was 5'8", with a seven, a 69-inch arm reach, and a welterweight, coming up in weight. Now he's going to fight Sebastian Fondora, who's six foot six southpaw junior middleweight, with an 80-inch arm reach. So, with that said... 
I think Sebastian Fandora learned his lesson from the Brian Mendoza fight. And I think he's going to win a split decision over Tim Zhu tonight. I believe Tim Zhu is going to have an extremely hard time finding his way on the inside of Sebastian Fandora. I think that Tim Zhu, who we saw get dropped. We saw Tim, Drew, Tim Zhu get dropped by Terrell Goucher, right? So we know he can be hurt and he can be had. And Sebastian Fandora, he got power, right? He just don't, his frame don't make you believe that, right? And I believe Sebastian Fandora tonight becomes the unified WBC, WBO world champion. Now, keep in mind, Tim Zhu belt wasn't even going to be on the line against Keith Thurman. Now, not only is his belt going to be on the line, but also the WBC title. And Sebastian Fandora is going to be, become the world champion. And then we possibly could see a rematch between Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fandora. And then Errol Spence Jr. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But I got Sebastian Fandora winning a split decision over Tim Zhu tonight. What y'all think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know who y'all got winning this fight. I got a shocker. Peace. And make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell icon. Make sure you subscribe to me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Sure. God for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.